I'm honored to present my, our uh, first live transmission. Uh, here, uh, I would like to introduce my team here. It's my co-director, Dr. Awaid Shemari, uh, Dr. Sharif Zaglul, uh, our IVAS commentator today, Dr. Stéphane Crier from France, uh, and my team here, Pichi, Cathy, Hani, and everybody here. So uh, I will let Dr. Awaid uh, present the case. Um, this is the first case is a 52-year-old gentleman um, who, who has a BMI of 30, diabetic hypertensive, had had PCI to LAD, high uh, diagonal and left circumflex uh, three months ago. He um, actually was uh, referred to surgery by declined surgery for a good two years before yeah, yeah. He, he come in to uh, multivisit PCI last October. But this, the uh, occlusion from the almost the uh, uh, proximal segment till the distal one. So, okay. so this is uh, the first injection to the left system, uh, checking out the previous work, patent stents. Um, next. And here, you will see that the uh, the long the, the occlusion from the proximal uh, RCA till the crux, uh, with some uh, micro channels uh, open here and there, throughout the occluded segment. Next. So here the anti-grade injection, and as you see here again, confirm the findings. There is occlusion also on the BDA mid BDA. Um, it can be uh, the competitive floor from the PLV going to the PDA, or it can be the true uh, total occlusion. Next. So, Khalid started first with the uh, uh, microcatheter and... Yeah. Um, Fine cross microcaster and further XTR. We try to negotiate for... Because we know that uh, the lesion is not so long, and the calcification, it's a, maybe it's a mix uh, plaque between the calcification and the fibers. So we believe that we can negotiate with a, with a, a filter XTR as a first wire, of course, and to grade. And of course, we have another plan for pull out, pull out techniques for retrograde, but uh, I let the, uh, Dr. White continue what we are growing. Yes? Okay, so uh, if you can see the other view, this is the uh, lateral one or the LAO. Yeah, can we put the, um, uh, the biplane, uh, please? The, uh, this, if you can see the biplane. So as you see here, the both uh, the uh, uh, views um, showing that the, we are in the true lumen so far. Uh, next. Then uh, making sure that we are in the channel. There is maybe um a branch just at the tip of the wire in the uh, area or the or the AP, uh, cranial or areocranial view next so the wire went to that branch so now we are sure we are in true lumen um here we're, where we are right now and Khaled trying to negotiate uh, the wire directed toward the uh, RCA. So, so I think so we, uh, can we have um, another, so we, st I start with a, with a filter again and going to uh, the branch, the other branch. So can we have a test please? Okay, anti-grade? No, retrograde. retrograde. Uh, we are outside, so. So I can go because the patient has a thumb plaque in the left main and these are seven French, so it's very, very safe. Can we can we move the table, please? Very safe just to take care all the time for your donor R3. Yeah. Okay. Can we have an AP, please? AP, please. Okay, go again. Okay, the, the pressure is ventricularized with a 
Okay, I think we, ha we we need to, to check the left main, huh? Okay, test. Okay. Yeah, because it's fell in French. Okay, yeah. Okay. Film. Yeah. Okay, you can just okay, the, the pressure has ventricularized in the left main. I think after we finish we we, sh we should check the left main with Ivis. Okay. So I think he has a calcific plaque. So that's why we need to have a penetration wires. But I will try again with a, with a Felder XTR, but just to put to, for security to secure the left main. Give me AP, please, Ernie. Okay. Yes. yes. So I think we passed the most, uh, uh, some of the good area in the CTO area. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Give me a guiding. Yeah. I don't hear you. Can you? Can you? Yeah, I hear you. No, no, I... Yeah, good. Okay. Okay, this is what we want. So you have a choice to start Sure. Already prepared. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Is a seven French? Yeah. yeah. Of course, with no side hole, because otherwise we'll uh, lose this sign that the left main has problems. So we don't put a side hole when we have a disease left main. Otherwise, we have a fake uh, pressure. So I, I take your it's your suggestion to put a wire in the. LAD or a circumflex or whatever. Yes, good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I prefer to put to, to have this wire, Dr. Walid, there for more more secure. And then we'll uh, we'll negotiate a little bit with our with the, the with a filter XTR, and if it's not, so here's the CTO yeah. segment. And my, wire, my wire going somewhere. So, so this is the time for guys. So I think we have to to check the next uh, the retrograde. Yeah, yeah. I, yes, of course. So we'll, we'll uh, do a retrograde injection. Yeah, without I will do extra, without injection, please. Okay, yeah, injection. Yeah, nothing up here, but okay. Anyway, I can we can okay. see that I don't know I'm under the calcium, but the wire is going, so I don't know where it's going, but. Yes. Yeah, that's why. Here my wire is uh, stop moving. Yeah, I, yeah, I try because these are. Uh, is a maximum microcaster can go. It's a maximum. Yeah, I think so. So it needs p more penetration power here. Yeah. Uh, it's getting something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you make progress. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing here in the CTO is certainly that it's not the whole length, but there are segments of occlusion. 
Yes. Okay, we take a REO cranial, please. Give this one cranial, yes. Okay. Okay, the wire movement is not uh, that bad. No, I don't. I don't think it's a good option to advance microcatheter. But maybe this in another branch or in the false lumen. I think it's facing another occlusion. Try to get the, the macro catheter inside. Now we have some purchase so far in front of it. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. 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 The macro are going smooth. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I think here we can we can take another wire just to yeah, yeah okay yes yeah yeah, yeah we are absolutely yeah. okay give me a lateral view Okay, injection, please. Okay. Yeah. Looks like uh, here's a, the RCA, but I need a stiff wire. Okay, so give me the Gaia, please. Because, uh, Okay. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, we'll not stay more time. Yeah, the radiation is high. Okay, so the microcaster cannot be advanced more here. It needs more purchase, wire purchase. Okay, so I take What's the Gaia. But if we do that, we burn the uh, the possibility doing anti-grade injection for testing. Yeah, but uh, you are beyond the anti-grade phase now, right? Yeah. Is it with Gaia 1 or 2? Two. 2. You like it to be lateral? Uh, no, you can you can go to Re reduce the uh, LAO, uh, the lateral, make it LAO. Please. LAO, can you? LAO, LAO, normal, phase. normal LAO. Okay. So I think it's a progression now. Yeah, but I don't know where where we are okay, because I think it's we are still in the branch. Okay. Okay. Can you give a? Yeah, it's in the branch. So uh, I'm 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 close. But this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. Can you see it? Maybe we are we are a little bit 
up and directing uh, upward. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I, I think I'm in the false human because it's a, I get um when you have a, a this friction with the pulling wires, so I think it's a, it was a, the false human. <clears throat> Actually, this is uh, unique for Gaia. I noticed when there is a calcium, um, it can um, stuck to it and may unravel if we pull it. So we need to rotate the, the opposite what we, the last movement in order to free the wire from the calcium, not necessarily to be in the... Yeah, I think you are correct, Dr. Khaled. Then I need a, a second curve to go here because we can't see by by calcium. But as you see here, the the Gaia 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 is, Gaia is already broken. Okay, so we uh, still with the Gaia two, but Gaia two is uh, broke. Yes, I change now with Gaia three. Okay. Back to Istanbul because okay. it's a satellite. So, Omer, we see you. Do so you want injection? Uh, oh, yeah. That's not so important. Can you or not? Okay. We need a uh, pipeline. Can you? Sorry. Sorry. Next. Yeah, okay. that's why I understand. See, I, I would like, I would like just to go with the calcium there. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 it's out. It's off. Floor safe. Floor safe. Cannot say, you cannot save here for. Oh. Okay. No, but I'm out here. Wait, I'm not in the right. calcium. Another branch. You're out another branch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here. Here, this one. I would like to puncture this one. Okay, this one. Why can't you? Okay, can you? This no, one? no, no. But, okay. Okay. Just give me a. Okay. Contra the, the injection. Now. This one much better. Then uh, it was not uh, able to pass, so we agreed together to take a guy second. Next. Again, guy second cannot pass. Next. And the damage two time. Then I change with guy three. So I I will let you see all the um, uh, where we are. So all the time when I negotiate, my wire is going to side branch, maybe the second RV branch, and always in this in this place, this is the RV branch as you see. So in this place, it's a, I believe this is a big calcium burden as we see in the CT and second CTO segment. 
So I agree with Dr. Awaid to have a more punctual wire, so penetrating wire, which is a, a Gaia 3 or Con Conquest Pro. So we, we take a Gaia 3 was not working two times, and you see here we are outside the artery. As you see here, so we are totally outside the artery. Next. So I redirect again with the guy as I'm again totally outside the artery. So I would change with the Conquest Pro 9, which is, is penetrating the artery, but it's going also sometimes outside. So I believe the, the changing projection is very important in this, this step just to, to understanding the course of the artery. Here next. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. So I negotiate again with a with a Conquest uh, Pro 9, and it was no uh, discussion between me and Dr. Awaid just to change with a more hydrophilic wire. But uh, I believe if the Conquest cannot go, otherwise cannot go as well. So it's here we are almost reaching the true human. We puncture the artery next. We change the direction, so it's here. It's maybe it's uh, going to the so small branch next. Where is it going? This one is going somewhere different. Thing. So reaching the BLV okay, here, okay. That, that's good. So we pass. We know so that if we go through I, this part, I will put my wire again to BDA, film? Film, yes. and I pass the second CTO segment, and finally so we finish the, 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 yeah. okay, let's the crossing the, the lesion. And uh, the, no, 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 it's here. So we are, we are here now. I will show you. Our wire is here now. The microcaster is, is stopping this in this part in the big calcium burden in the, near the cracks. So I believe I will do a small um, uh, balloon inflation in the mid segment RCA, and we check with the IVUS. And then we, if we are in the everything is good, we are truly human. We change and we dilate. So what do you think? Excellent. That was very impressive wire manipulation. We need pressure. So we, uh, I will let Dr. Awaid um, just summarize what we did. So we, uh, after crossing, we left you with a uh, crossing of the lesion using the uh, Conquest Pro. Um, then uh, we uh, tried to do the um, uh, IVUS, but it was not passing. Then we pre-dilated it with 125 was not passing, then, the, I mean, the IVAS. Um, then we used 2.0 preparation uh, balloon um, in order to do IVAS. We did IVAS study, and uh, I don't know where Stefan can talk to you about the IVAS. Can we bring Stefan here? Okay. No. So I can tell you what he told us. He told us that the, the BDA is a 3.0 uh, luminal diameter, no. uh, the, the adventitial diameter, uh, but the lumen may be 2.5. Um, then, uh, the, but the vessel itself is 3.5 and approximately 4.0. We we were in a true lumen all all way uh, four, zero, uh, the, the course of the, the wiring. Um, then uh, Khaled decided to do a drug coated balloon to the BDA Second, uh, CTO. So it was prepared again with a 2.5 balloon. Um, then uh, sequent balloon, we used it uh, 2, 5 by 30 um, for 10. 45 seconds uh, using the nominal pressure. Then we reduced it to um, uh, the six atmosphere. For they were prepared to discuss with Stefan regarding the, uh, the sizing of the stand. Do we need to involve the cracks or not? Uh, we don't want to end up with the metal jacket. Um, while we are discussing, the blood pressure dropped. It's more. It's it's important to note that we removed the EBU guiding from the left main system after we cross the CTO. So it was 30 minutes ago. Um, is it related to the balloon dilatation, prolonged balloon balloon dilatation of the BDA? Is it because the left main uh, compromise? We don't know. Um, so we'll do the left main later on after we fix the, um, the, the job in the RCA. 
um, as well as the patient is responding to the supportive measure. We give him IV fluid wide open and uh, we give him also um, a levofed. So we put... The segments of the stents look good, but the yeah. question of the crux... Yes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Costume, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we, we see it by IVAS. So I tell Stefan, I would like to avoid to touch the crux. So maybe there's another... Hmm. The PDA is the big artery. Yes. I know. Yeah. So we 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 may secure the distal artery with a with a small stand as uh, a uh, three zero or three two point seventy five. Uh, short one is 15, just secure the crux area. But I, I don't want to put to distal to the BD. Already has inflated with a dragonotic balloon. Of stent. So to discuss now, <laughs> full metal or not. Uh, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but actually, I, I'm, I'm satisfied. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> 3 or 10. No, 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 no. It's a, we kind of have a 15, no, 15 uh, or 12. 3 or, 3 or 15, I mean. Yeah. That's what, what what I want. What I want to say. Yeah, this, yeah. yeah, post. Yeah, post side. So sometimes I I just uh, doing a distal artery with a dragoluting balloon, and we have a good result with this. Uh, uh, just uh, stand the CTO segment, and then a distal artery. I believe the. Uh, the damping of the pressure, as Dr. White say, but the guiding was deeply engaged, and this uh, because yeah, of the ostium of the right. RCA, so that's why we get uh, some uh, damping of the pressure. But patient now is uh, is make very it, good. Make it uh, 18. So 18. It's, yes. Make it 18. Do you have 18? Yeah. Yes, in screen. So you have a couple of measurements on the longitudinal pullback. In the same time, we are starting the pullback this very distal right. So, so this is where we are distal to the crux and you see that at this level there is some plaque but the disease is not major and could be left like this. We are coming with the crux just at this level and you saw that plaque burden is in the order of 50% but all okay. this segment here is acceptable so now we will go back just around the crux so we go more distally and this is where we are entering in the distal right so Yeah, I, I so agree. Okay, so I believe to just to put a stent, an uh, austere stent, according to the IVUS. And then we will follow up the patient. So we already have a low pressure, low um, uh, balloon dilatation there. We have a drag looting balloon distally. So I believe it will improve. Okay. You see the very proximal right that is a huge vessel of 4.5. And all this has been stented. But all the way up to the guiding where we are arriving here, you see that there was a lot of plaque burden. And this is the guiding, and you see the guiding sits in the plaque. Okay, so thank you. Omer, he wants also to present his case. Omer? Okay, thank you.